Three ways to convert Google Maps into site plans to Illustrator and AutoCAD and let's get started. The first website is a website that I mentioned before which is CAD Mapper. It is a free alternative to Digimap as it allows you to download CAD files straight from the website. First of all, you can download over 200 free whole city CAD files. Those are not so detailed but they would be best if you are creating larger urban diagrams on a wider context but you can also download more detailed ones but you will need to sign up first. Free map is up to one kilometer square and then over that you will need to purchase. It will show you a nice axonometric of the site or a 2D view which you can then screenshot and then you can download the SketchUp file and enjoy. I've gotten some comments from you guys saying that it doesn't work worldwide and I agree. This is what I downloaded for a precedent study that I'm doing in Porto and it's a good start to a site plan. But it needs some cleaning and refining. Roads are only one line so I'll need to draw that myself. But nonetheless, I used this drawing to create my site plan as well as the SketchUp model to create a site section. The second website is OpenStreetMap, which offers map data for thousands of websites, smartphone applications, and hardware devices. You can access different layers to maps, similarly to Digimap, but it is free and it's open data, which means that you are free to use it for any purpose as long as you credit OpenStreetMap and its contributors. You can also export as a JPEG or a PDF, but you can also export as an SVG, which is a vector-based file. And then you can edit in Illustrator to produce high quality diagrams. So this is how it looks when I first imported the SVG file. So we have the watermark. First of all, I'm going to select same appearance and then delete all of the watermark. You can see that there is a mask and if you ungroup it, it looks really bad and it will take a lot of time to clean up. So don't ungroup it. Instead, isolate and work within the group. I'm going to use this site plan as a CAD file, so I'm going to clean it up and delete all of the arrows and the icons. But if you were using this to create any diagrams, then these icons are actually really good and you can just use them as they are. But because I'm deleting them, I've created a shortcut to select the same appearance so that I don't have to keep doing it or going to the top select button. And now I can edit and customize things so I can select all of the building. Same way, select the same appearance or the same color fill and then I can change it. Change any of the landscaping, any of the colors and truly make it my own. And I think this is such a great site plan. You can see how nice and detailed it is and how clean and I can use it for diagrams as well as AutoCAD. To export to AutoCAD, I'm going to go to file and then export as AutoCAD file and then I'm just going to press export. Ignore all of these settings and just press OK. So when you open it in AutoCAD, you can see all of the things that were masked. I first have to explode the site plan so that I can remove all of these extra bits. Right click on this river here and then select the same and then I can delete all of the hatches. And you can see that it exported with all of the line weight as well as layers. I think it's really nice and very detailed compared to the one that we downloaded from CAD Mapper. You will still have to do quite a bit of clean in here because there is a lot of layers on top of each other. But then again, I think anything that you download online will just need a little bit of cleaning. Now the third way is to go to any website that allows you to edit your style. So this website is called Map Style and it allows you to change the colors of the road, delete the labels and this kind of eliminates any of the cleaning process that I did for the other method. So I'm going to delete all of the labels and then go into terrain and make sure that it's hidden so that everything is leveled. And then go into roads and I'm going to change the highways and the main roads to one color and then leave the local to a different color. That way I can select it in Illustrator really easily.
press finish and now you get this message where you can copy and paste the styles so if you wanted to do this again you wouldn't have to go through these steps again I'm gonna use the snipping tool to take a snippet of the site plan and then add it to illustrator after I paste it in Illustrator, it's really big, so I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. And if I go to the dimensions, I can easily just add a number, change the scale of it. And then go to properties here and then press image trace. And I'm going to trace it to six colors. And as you can see, it already transformed it into a vector file, which is insane. And I can go back into the settings and then change this. So I'm going to change the paths to about 20% because that reduces the points and it makes the lines smoother. And then the corners, I'm going to extend it all the way to 100 because that makes all of the buildings straight edges. And that's it. Now I'm going to press expand and now I can edit and change everything. I'm going to select the background and to delete it. So now that I have a white background, I can select all of the buildings and I can move things into layers. And if you wanted to clean buildings like this, for example, I would use the shape builder tool to create the shape and then delete all of the strokes. Change the style of the road to black and white so you can see how it looks with just black and white roads and grey buildings and some green grass. So once I open it in AutoCAD, I can delete all of the hatches and the fills. And I can also edit any of the layers, add any line weight. So I think this way is the cleanest way because it allows you to customize things straight from the website before you take the screenshot. And you can see that there's not much cleaning to do here. The second way is I think the most detailed one, but it will have a lot of cleaning to do. So now you have three ways to convert your Google Maps into AutoCAD and Illustrator. You can try any of these methods to your own maps and your own sites and let me know how they work for you and which one you found created the best site plan. I apologize for my voice today. I don't know why it sounds...